All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right, in today's lesson, you know, we're going to get right into it. Um, we're going to go into to explain to you um, believers out there that, you know, our Lord, Yahweh, um, the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord, the, the Lord is the same. Okay, the Lord hasn't changed. All right, for instance, for example... You know, um, in this time, you know, you have, you know, you have um, the, uh, you know, people, they change, you know, from the Romans to the Greeks to the, you know, uh, from the, the Babylonians to the Persians to the Greeks to the Romans all the way to this time, you know, look at how much, you know, time has changed, you know, the people, society, you know, look how, how modern things are now, you know. With automobiles before it used to be you know straight horseback remember okay so it's just to uh let you uh listeners know that you know the lord is the same you know he's all steer okay because um just look at how look at how much uh man society has weakened over the years you know Co compared to the ancient world you know with the vikings and all that you know Imagine, you know, look at how much weaker uh, people have gotten and society has gotten, you know, because now it's all about conveniency, you know, look at that fast food, fast life, you know, you know, you can get anything, just go drive through and you get your food within five minutes, you know, whatever you want, you know, you want pizza, order at Pizza Hut, boom, you know, coffee, you got a coffee bean, you know, and you know, there's a, there's a whole type of selection out there, you know. You, go, you want ice cream, you just get it, you know? You want some candy, you know? You go to 7-Eleven on every, almost every corner, you know? There's uh, fast food everywhere, you know? So uh, the society has grown weaker, you know, because, uh, you know, people, you know, they want, uh, oh, I, I need an energy drink, boom. Oh, I need a cigarette. They, ha they just consume, you know? They got everything at their fingertips, you know? within five minutes you know whatever you want you got it right here you want a little candy here huh oh hey i need a cigarette they got it you know not saying to uh that's bugged out but just saying you know because uh whatever whatever somebody wants you know they got it you know uh typically you know because there's some people who can't afford things you know but the average person out here you know they you know they can uh, get anything you know you want a cheeseburger you want a taco they got it you don't got to go out there and hunt it down you know, like the old world, you know, gut it yourself and all that. So there was a lot more patience. The people were a lot more stronger. All right. So that is what um, I'm emphasizing today and to show you uh, viewers out there that the Lord is, he's all steer. You know, he hasn't changed. The Lord's not going to come back in some skinny jeans, you know, with the latte, you know, with some office glasses saying, hey, you know, what's your FICO uh, credit score? No. Okay, our Lord is the same, you know, so you imagine, you imagine, you know, way back in the ancient world, you know, where you have mighty warriors, you know, remember the Vikings, the Spartans, remember the Lord, the Lord's ancient, the Lord's from way back, the Lord's from way back, it's just to, you know, give you like an image, you know, so you can imagine it, so because you have to have an image in your head that the Lord, he's, he still is, he's the same, you know, he's from the ancient world, he's from the ancient, ancient world. He's from the beginning. You know, the Lord is very rough. He's all steer. You know, like that game. I don't know if, uh, if you guys ever play video games. Just look up that game. Uh, and that don't even compare to him. But it's just, you know, kind of give you a little, you know, kind of get your brain going. Uh, that that one game, uh, God of War, like that, you know. And if you don't really know, like, video games too much, uh, just look it up real quick, you know. That character in God of War, he's just, you know, like, you know, a rough dude, you know, straight warrior. That's how the Lord is, you know, he's all steer, you know, rough. And that's how the angels are, you know, mighty. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. 
for it is evident that our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sprang out of Judah, because our Lord is a a Judite. He is he is a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. See, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Yeah, because uh, the priesthood is from uh, originally from the Levites. All right, but after the order of Melchizedek, which was Yahushai in the reincarnation. You know, back in the flesh. Um, now all tribes. Okay. Now that's why you have the prophets. You know, because they're not just the Levites. After the order of Mount Chesedek, now all the tribes, you know, can be, uh, you know, priests and, um, you know, prophets. You know? After the order of Mount Chesedek. And Mount Chesedek was Yahweh Shai. Mount Chesedek is the only person on the earth that was uh, just, he just appeared on the scene. He didn't have a father or mother, you know, like they tell that lie that, uh, you know, Mary never had uh, relations, you know, uh, and then, uh, you know, she was just pregnant with the, uh, with the Hawashai, who the world stubbornly calls Jesus Christ. No, Mary and Joseph, they did have relations, okay, facts, you know, oh, absolutely, yep, and, um, you know, and they just like a regular, like you have your child today, you know. You know how how man man and women you know they uh they lay down and you know you proc you procreate you know so that's uh Mount Chesedek he he actually uh he just appeared on the scene you know he didn't have no father and mother he just appeared and that was uh Yahushai if you can receive it all right Yahushai was uh, Adam he was uh Mount Chesedek he was Isaac. Okay, of course, Yahawashai, who the world stubbornly calls Jesus Christ. He was also a uh, quasi quato you know, down there for, you know, the uh, so-called Latinos. Absolutely, you know. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, we, including my, we come back many, many generations, many lives, you know. Absolutely. So let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 18 verse 10 so this is just to you know let you know out there like you know how the lord he's just for you can kind of picture him you know because um you know when i first came into this thing you know i'm just gonna tell you a little story about myself you know not you know you know i'm not that important but you know i grew up uh i was raised catholic you see you know and i have some family members that were christian you know there's there's a few that are jehovah witness but, uh, you know, in my household, you know, I was raised, you know, my parents and them were uh, Catholic, you know, so and then uh, they're and my grandparents. So, you know, I had that image of Caesar Borgia, you know, so if anyone were to tell me before I came into the truth, hey, you know, what the Lord looked like, you know, I would um, I would image, you know, an image would come up to my head. OK, oh, uh, Caesar Borgia, you know, like that, that so-called European that they have in those churches with long hair, you know, what? Well, you know, so that's the image that I, I used to picture before I knew the truth. You see, that's you have to you have to unlearn what you learn. You know, so you have to have that image there. It's just kind of like anything else. If somebody asks you, hey, uh, you know, they, they start talking about, oh, hey, you know, a Dodge Chrysler, or hey, you know what, I'm gonna buy, you know, a Chevy, you know, a Chevy uh, Silverado. That image pops up in your head. You know, exactly. You know, because they say, oh, I'm gonna get an engine. Then you already kind of think, okay. I know what an engine looks like because you're that's why it's called your imagination because you have an image in your head you know like your children if someone says hey how's your children doing you're already gonna think of them oh okay you know tom uh jennifer you know you're already gonna think oh hey my children's doing well you know but you're, you're gonna because you have that image in your head because you know what they look like so that's why when the the, the prophets out there teaching they have the image of uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, which is similar. Okay, that's not exactly, exactly what he looks like, but that's, it's close, you know, it's, and that's very good. That's according to scripture, you know, because he's a so-called black man because we're different shades of brown, all right? Um, you know, from the tribe of Judah with uh, a beard and a fro, you know, like a small fro, not real big, but like a, like a medium-sized afro, you know, with a, you know, white, you know, white woolly hair, like a sheep. Facts. You know, absolutely. So it's just so you can imagine it, you know, because you have to unlearn what you learn, you know, from all these deceptions and lies, you know, from these elites, you know.
because everything in these schools, that's all from the uh, Rockefellers, you know? They put these lies into these books and everything. Yes, of course, there's some truth in there, but it's, you know, they um, talk about that, you know, George Washington and all these presidents were so, you know, royal and all that. You know, they're all Freemasons, you know, straight Satanists. Huh? Facts. You know, they own slaves and all that. You know, did they uh, do some and fight some wars? Yeah, you know, they probably did. You know, they fought wars. They, you know, they did do stuff like that. But they're also uh, wicked, you know, because uh, Freemasonry is straight witchcraft, which goes to what? Satanism. See? So, uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 18, verse 10. Let me get it real quick. Bear with me. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, is a strong tower because that's our defense. That's our strength. That is our source. The righteous run into it, it and is safe. See that? So if you're not praying enough, if you're not pushing videos, you know, uh, some people, they weren't, you know, there were there's different members of the body. But um, if you're not pushing videos and you're able to, and like you were pushing videos before, you're leaving holes open, you know? It's like you don't have your armor on. So Satan and these demons are going to attack you more, you know? Especially if the Lord gave you, uh, you know, you know, talent, you know? Don't hide your talent in a napkin. You know, absolutely. You know? Don't, uh, don't hide. Don't hide your talent, you know? Because there's different members, you know? Some are just believers. Helps, you know? And don't, uh, don't take it the wrong way. Like, oh, why, well, you know... I can't teach, but th does that mean, you know, I'm just, you know, somebody down? No, of course not. There's different members of the body, you know? But, uh, so that, the righteous run into it and it's safe. So, you know, if you, you got to pray, you know, you got to use all the tools that the Lord gave you, you know, put on your whole armor, you know, uh, facts. Because, you know, there there are wicked forces out here, you know, but the Lord says, that's all right. You know, I gave you the, uh, the tools to combat them. See? You know, that's why the Lord says you have to be in that avatar state, you know, hop into that, uh, that spiritual side, you know, carnality, what you want to be like a so-called white man, you know, you want to be equal with him. The Lord says you're superior than him. You're better than him. Hebrews chapter 11, verse six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. See, for he that cometh to the Most High, Yahweh, must believe that He is. Because that's what His name is. He is. He exists. That's why He's the only one who can say, I am. Because mm? He is the Ancient of Days. That's another title for the Lord, uh, Yahweh. Ancient means uh, time, uh, day. Uh, ancient means before, you know, like, you know, like in the ancient world, you know, like before, you know, a long time ago, you know, the ancient world. You know, the someone says, hey, in the ancient world, you think like, man, that was a long time ago. So that was like before. Ancient means before. Days means time. Because Yahweh is before time. He don't have no beginning, no end. Yahweh Shai does. Okay, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh created him. He does have a beginning. You know, that he does have a beginning date where, you know what, he was created on this day. You know, but Yahweh doesn't. You know, that's why he's a, he's a consuming fire. He's greatly to be feared. Imagine, he has no beginning, no end. He just is. Can you imagine? You know? Yeah, you know, put that one on for size. And, and that he is a rewarder, see? Because your, uh, your works follow you. Just like, you know, if you work hard at work, you're going to move up. You know, a manager, you know, you're going to move up, you know? Same thing like with the Lord, you know, you want to, you want to stock up on faith, you know, the Lord's going to reward you, he's going to help you and your family, if you're diligent, you know, if you're sincere, of them that diligently seek him, see, so that's what the Lord is telling us, you know, if you're, uh, yeah, if you're really sincere, he's, he's going to help you, you know, the Lord says that, you know, with my hope for elect, you know, the, uh, the hope for elect are in his hand, you know, and he's going to help them. Absolutely. You know, because uh, 
those of you believers out there, you gotta know that the the angels are out here. You know, they're out here in the spiritual realm. You know, they're out here. You know, the, all around us. The ships are all around us. You know, sometimes you know you might see a chariot. The chariots are all around us, twenty four seven. You know, and it's just uh, if some of you, you know, see you know a uh, a chariot. You know, it's not that you know you just kind of got lucky. No, that's sent from the heaven. So if you've seen it, you know, the Lord, it was uh, made for you that day to see it. You know, it wasn't that, oh, hey, you just got lucky and, you know, no, nah, those are the angels sent from the Lord. So if you've seen it, it was made for you that day to see it. That was a gift from the Lord just to, you know, reassure you, you know, but just because you don't see them doesn't mean that they're not all around you because the ships are all around us 24 seven and the angels. But you can't see them. Oh yeah, you know. Remember, uh, Alicia said, "Please uh, open his eyes that he may see." Remember, and he saw on the mountains. Remember the chariots and the angels and all that. He goes, "Fear not, because there's more of the angels with us than there are with the wicked, because there are evil angels on the left hand side, starting with Shatan, Satan. See, and it goes on down. But there's more that are with us on the right hand side. See." So they're all around us, 24-7. The book of John, chapter 4, verse 22. We'll read down to the 24th verse. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. Because the Lord's saying doesn't matter. Because uh, right now, these small hats, now they're trying to labelize, you know, the, they, well, they call us black Hebrew Israelites, but we're not even black. I'm not black. You know, I'm not black, you know. You know, none of us are black. Remember uh, LeBron James. Next time you see him shooting a free throw, look at him. You know, his eyebrows may be black. If he has a black bandana or a headband, that's black. You know, but take a second look. You know, you simpletons look at him and say, nah, that nigga's black. You know, what are you talking about? Slow down, Popeye. You know, chill out. All right, just look. You know, take a second look. And you'll see that he, you know, he's actually brown. He's dark brown. He's not black. You know? Because we're different shades of brown. So, right here, Yahweh Shai is saying, we know what we worship. So, don't worry about because, yeah, they're going to demonize the he uh, us, the Hebrew Israelites. You know, we're not some radical extremists. You know, that is, that's our nationality. You know, and they have a problem with us proclaiming who we are just because we woke up. Now, you tell me that's not hate. You know? We know we finally figured out who we were because they beat it out of us. You know, they killed us, fed our babies the alligators. And now we know who we are again. And they're saying, oh, that's hate speech. Why? Because we know who we are. All we're saying is we know who we are again. And it's hateful. See, that's hateful. These Edomites, because they're criminalizing that and demonizing us because we know the truth. We know who we are. But they're saying, no, they're, they're mad because, you know, we know that we're not just some niggas. We know that we're not just some uh, webbacks, like, like, like they call us, you know? So now what, they're that's hate speech because we know who we are? All we're saying is we know that we're the children of Israel. And it's like, oh, no, oh, hell no. You, you know, it's all oh, hell no to them because that's hate. That's hateful because we can't even proclaim who we are, you know? Remember like that movie Roots? He said, hey, my name's Kuta Kente. He says, no, your name is Toby. He kept whipping him. Same thing because they don't even want us to know who we are. That's how much these Edomites hate us. You know, are you getting it now? You know, are you smelling the coffee? They hate us. Can you imagine, you know? We can't speak for everyone because there are some, uh, you know, false Israelite groups, you know, like Sakari, who are carrying guns and, you know, doing st stupid stuff, you know, that are putting a bad name on all of, for all of us, for the rest of us, you know? But, hey, it's just the way it is, you know? But, you know, as far as awakening, you know, they don't even want us to know who we are. You know, because they spent millions of dollars to keep that secret from us. But the Lord sent the prophets, you know, start, starting with Abba Bivens, 1969. You know, the prophets are back on the scene. Why do you think all the prophets of old were being slain? You know, because the prophets were bringing it out. You know, and why are these devils so offended by it? Because it's the truth. You know, if they were, if these devils, these leaders were, uh, you know, real royal and they were, you know, about truth and, you know, honor and respect they would have no problem they'll be like oh yeah you know these are good people right here you know these are righteous people why do they have a problem because this kingdom is built on lies 
sorcery, witchcraft, Satanism, because it's destroying all their lives. See, you know, we're not out there threatening people, you know, out there with swords, like, yeah, make another move, you know, it's, it's on, you know, make one move, make one more move, and it's about to pop off, you know, nah, you know, we're out there with books, bringing out history, facts, you know, we got the facts, baby, and they don't like it, why, because they're deceivers, remember, devils, because they deceive, that means they are professional liars, they're tricking you into believing something that is not true, see, you know, to show you, this place is built on lies. I know for the majority of you, it's like, it's hard to take that in, but it's real. See, we know not what we worship. So now the wicked, now they're trying to say that we're evil now. You know, it's like, well, hey, make a decision. I thought you guys were Satanists. You know, I thought you guys were the bad guys. I thought you guys were the wicked. Now they're pointing the small hats, the rugrats. They're pointing their finger at us saying, oh, look it, they're evil. You know, we're evil. You know, so you can call us whatever you want, baby. At this point, it don't even matter because they're going into slavery. You know, they've been caught. They've been found out. They've been caught red handed. You know, the Lord's exposing these clowns and they can call us whatever they want. It don't even make a difference. You know, it's like taking it's like taking one Skittle out of the Skittle bag. You know, it don't even make a difference. Like taking a bucket of water out of the ocean. It ain't going to make a difference. You know, like yelling in the middle of a desert. Ain't no one going to hear you. Huh? It doesn't even matter at this point, you know, because the Lord is coming. You know, they can say whatever they want. They're going down, baby. See, you know, so that's why the Lord says just chill, you know, because uh, these devils are the wicked, you know, and now they're saying that we're the evil ones. You know, it's like, hey, make up your mind. Which, make a decision. You know, I thought you were the evil ones. Now we're the evil ones, you know, see, because these devils have been caught red handed, baby. They are fugitives on the run. but They're not going anywhere. That's why the Lord says, just relax, because we know what we worship, because we know that we're not wicked. You know, whatever they put on us, that's okay. The Lord says, be cheerful, because they have a greater sin, because they're uh, building cases on you. They're, you know, they're they're doing all kinds of uh, stuff, so they have a greater sin. See, so the Lord says, I'm watching everyone. Don't worry about it, you know. Facts. For salvation is of the Jews. John chapter... Uh, 4 verse 23 we're going to go down to the 24 verse but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father Yahweh in spirit and in truth see because it's the truth in spirit and in truth not what you feel okay well I feel the Lord like this well I think you know no in spirit and in truth because what's the truth you know it's not what you feel is right it's what's the truth you know Two plus two equals four. What's the truth? The Lord is a Judite. Okay? There's 12 tribes in Israel. It's not, well, I feel this. Well, then you're you're not worshiping him in, in spirit and in truth. See? Because the true worshipers are back. You know, we're not following this, uh, you know, satanic uh, Roman Catholicism, you know, and all that. For the Father, for the Father, Yahweh seeketh such to worship him. Verse 24. Yahweh, the Most High, is a spirit, and they that worship him, here we go, must. So this is must. It's not just, oh, if you feel like it. This is instructions. Must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's why stay in the spirit. Stay in that avatar state. Don't get carnal. It's cool, yes, you know, to work out, you know, stay busy and stuff. You know, have things in order, be responsible. But you want to be in the spirit because that's how you can connect with him. See? And in truth, there's that word truth that these devils hate. They laugh like, oh, truth. Well, it's the truth. And the truth cuts. Remember, the Lord's word is sharper than a two-edged sword. It cuts all these devils' lives, you know? They can say, they can ramble all they want. It don't even matter. Remember, it's like when these devils, you know, just speak and just, you know, blabber all day long. It's like somebody yelling at the top of their lungs in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere. It's not even going to make a difference. You know, ain't no one going to hear you. You know, all you're doing is wasting your energy. Facts. You know, because the truth is the truth. You know, and it's cutting through all the nonsense. See? Because we're going home, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're out of here. That's why the Lord says just stay in the spirit. Stay in that avatar state, you know? Oh, yeah, because our enemies, they don't understand the spirit. That's why they get mad, you know? But well, it's all right. Let them get mad. Let them get upset, you know? I would be upset, too, if I knew I was going to slavery, you know? 
just let them so they let them get mad you know it's all good you know let them throw a tantrum they're not going anywhere proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 through 17 these six things doth the lord hate see because the lord does hate you know so that's a cut to these wacky tacky christians and these bugged out religions out there that say god's all love you know no the lord hates too you know of course he loves his righteous but he also hates see just like you you know you probably have things that you hate like you know what i hate these shoes i love i love these shoes you're gonna have you're gonna have a favorite you know like you're probably gonna have a sweater like oh, this is my favorite sweater that sweater um i don't like it man because it, it kind of it's kind of like irritating and stuff you know you know it's just the way it is you know you're gonna have your favorite you know like oh this is my favorite this one i don't like you know uh some people at work i hate that person because that person's you know they you know they they eat like a pig or you know they're just you know always harassing me you know like i hate that person and they're gonna be like hey i like this person or i love this person because we connect you know we're cool we go out to lunch you know it's just the way it is just like the lord so why if you can love and hate people like don't you you know there's things that you hate right you probably hate what rapists right don't you hate uh uh people who kill innocent children you know don't you hate you know you hate certain stuff you know like oh i i hate uh i hate spiders okay is the lord gonna destroy you because you hate spiders so if you can hate something you know why can't the lord hate something stop putting the lord in the box see you know you guys expect too much from the lord you know, how come the Lord can't hate? You know, I'm sure you guys out there hate something. You know, I hate my ex. I'm not saying, you know, me, just saying like in general, you know. It's, oh, I hate my ex. Oh, I hate that neighbor. Oh, I hate whatever. You know, oh, but the Lord can't hate? Why not? But you can love, oh, I love my children. I love my car, man. You know, I love it. Oh, I love my new iPhone. You know, I love it, man. You know, I love ice cream. The Lord loves and the Lord hates. So if you can love and you can hate something, oh, I hate I hate LA traffic, man. I hate it, man. Damn. Why can't the Lord hate some stuff? See? You're being silly. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things that the Lord hates, because the Lord also hates. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Here we go. Verse 17. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 17. A proud look. Uh oh. So, those of you that are full of pride, you know, a proud look. The Lord hates that because that's a woman trait. You know, hey, look at me. Look at me. We want people looking at you for it. Huh? Are you queer? What the hell? You know, you fruitcake. A proud look. Huh? A lying tongue. So that's you, that's you devil to the T because you're all, you're full of pride and all you do is lie. You lie with a smile. But that's all right. You're going to catch your beat down. If it's all good, go for it. You scoffer. You know, I'm a scoffer. Yeah, no shit. You know? And you're about to get a beat down for that, you know? And hands that shed innocent blood. Does that not sound like the Edomites? A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Is that not the Edomites? That's them to the T. So the Lord hates the Edomites. You know? Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Because the Lord hates you, Edomites. Why? Look what you look what you do around the world, you know? Look at your tab. I mean, look what you're doing. You know, you're like that, like that one family member and Bill, Billy Madison. They just pick on everybody and they're like, adore your rules. Adore your rules. So just remember then Billy Madison, I have a family, your whole family's going to go down. You know, and they all went down, remember? And that car like, adore your rules. Adore your rules. Same thing with the Edomites. They're going down, baby. You know, they may say, yeah, you know, we're superior. That's cool. Let them chop. You know, let them, you know, let them kick up dust. You know, let them talk. But they're all going down. Just like that family and uh, Billy Madison, remember Adoria Rules, you know? They're picking on people, being mean to them. Same thing with the Edomites. They're being mean to people, you know, putting spells on them, you know? That's okay, you know, because they're all going to go down. They're first going to go into slavery, and then the Lord's going to put them in a pit and uh, going to barbecue them, every last one of them, you know? So it's all right, you know? Let them, let them, uh, let them talk, you know? They ain't going nowhere facts you know Ephesians you get it real quick uh, Ephesians the 
the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 Yeah, yeah. For by grace are ye saved through faith. See? So, for by grace, because right now we're still on grace, but, you know, don't take that for uh, for granted, you know? You want to do the best you can. But the elect, uh, their sins are covered by the blood of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. For by grace are ye saved through faith. So you must have faith. Remember the Lord says it's impossible. You must. It's impossible to please Him without faith. See? Because you're without faith. That means you have to be convinced. Okay, that's a better word because a lot of you coming into this thing, you're not too spiritual, you know. You hear, oh, truth, oh, faith, you know, the spirit. Okay, so the Lord is teaching you out there by his prophets so it can convince you that you want to be on the Lord's team, you know. Kind of like right here, it's uh, the third dimension. People believe in uh, logic, you know, the laws of physics. Oh, I got to see it to believe it. So that's why the Lord encourages you to learn you know what the lord is talking about not just oh i believe that way you know go into your own studies you know uh run through the numbers and see if the lord's saying doesn't add up you know he's not just the lord encourages you to uh, look it up you know don't just hear the prophet and say oh yep i believe them. they're right no look it up do fact check them see if what they're saying you know is is true you know because they're coming straight from the book because they're not saying their own words they're saying the lord's words because once you do, you look at what these words mean, you know, you do the fact checks, it's going to help convince you. Okay, that is a better word uh, just for the majority because people in this world, you know, they kind of get a little weird. You know, you speak about truth, you know, they kind of roll their eyes like, oh, here we go. It's the truth. What's so what's so silly about that? You know, what's it's the truth, you know, uh, spirit. See, so to kind of like connect with you guys in today's terms. You know, if you guys, you know, study a little bit, you know, look up your own words, you know, kind of fact check, you know, what the prophets are saying. You know, don't just believe them like, yep, it's right. You know, just check it out, you know, see if what they're saying makes sense and see if, you know, the dates and all that don't add up. You know, with Antiochus Epiphany, you know, the time with the uh, Ptolemaic Empire, uh, Ptolemaic Dynasty, you know, all that, you know, see if all those stuff don't uh, add up. You know, the Ptolemaic uh, dynasty, that was, what, about 300 B.C., you know? And then uh, and then Antiochus came on the scene, you know, around uh, 100 B.C., you know? So, you know, because uh, the teachers of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai do their homework, you know? So if you, uh, you know, uh, do your own research, you know, and, and fact check them, you know, just check it out. Like, what they're saying, you know, see if it adds up. You know, it's not just like, yeah, hey, we're the Hebrew Israelites and... You know, we're superior and yeah, just believe us and that's it. Ha ha ha. No, you know, look it up because it's the truth. You know, you know, we ain't no freaking uh, radical Muslims out here. Just, you know, freaking saying Allah and this and that. And, you know, nah, just speaking gibbers. You know, we're out here giving you the facts, baby. You know, look it up. You know, and we're not out here saying, oh, please believe us. And no, nah, it's it's on you. You know, it's on you, homeboy. You know, whether you want to receive salvation or not. See, you know. Because uh, when you do your own research, it's going to help convince you. Just like that science project. When you do some science or, you know, you see something, you're like, yep, I'm convinced. Because you know. It's kind of like when you're buying a car, you know. Like when you, uh, let's say like a Dodge, for instance. You know how you can buy like the, uh, you know, like a Dodge, uh, what's that car? A Dodge Challenger. You know, you know how they have like the SRT8 and they have the Hellcat stuff like that. So go through, you know, because you look it up before you buy something, you know. And what makes you buy something? Because you're going to be convinced. You're going to see, okay, uh, let's let's go to 